Okay, so here we are looking at a cross section of the ureter. Um, and in this case, uh, we've got a tubular structure here. We've got quite a convoluted lumen. Um, and the majority of the structure really is a smooth muscle in sort of two layers. There's a sort of longitudinal layer here on the outside and a more circular layer with the fibres running towards us uh, on the inside. So when looking at the smooth muscle here, we can see the smooth muscle running around. So that's a circular muscle here and then we can see a sort of longitudinal fibres on the inside coming towards us uh, here and really what we think is that it's probably a spiral arrangement of muscle fibres all the way down and that these move by peristalsis or contract via peristalsis in much the same way as the GI tract does to uh, move um, urine along the ureter from the kidneys to the bladder. A little bit of nervous supply here and blood supply to the ureter as well. Let's take a closer look at the epithelium lining the ureter. And the nice thing about this is it's a really good example of an epithelium that you only find in the bladder and in the ureter. Uh, and it's um, a transitional epithelium. Now here, where the cursor is going now is where the basement membrane would be. You can see there are several layers of nuclei, maybe five or six layers tall, and the top layer the cells are quite um, polyhedral, a little bit domed at the surface. You can see the nucleus there very clearly. And this is a transitional type of epithelium because in the relaxed state, the cells at the surface are quite rounded or dome-like or polyhedral in shape. And then as the ureter distends, these cells become much flatter and look a bit more like a stratified squamous type of epithelium uh, to accommodate the expanding uh, contents here. So this on the other hand is a section of bladder. We can see how very convoluted uh, the interior is, big sort of clefts um, between the bits of epithelium and the lumen is very convoluted. Again we can see um, a lot of muscle, again this circular muscle around the outside, longitudinal muscle fibres coming towards us here. And similar to the ureter, it is thought that these are, represent a sort of spiral arrangement um, of muscle fibres that help in peristalsis um, in the bladder. Now we've just looked at the ureter epithelium, but let's have a look at the epithelium in the bladder itself, uh, which is very similar. And again, if I just swizz it round so we can see it the right way up. We can see again, this would be where your basement membrane would be. Several layers, this is a non-distended bladder, so several layers of nuclei here. Uh, this is a lamina propria underneath to support that. And then moving outward, uh, we would see um, the, the muscle starting to come in, the muscle fibres here. Okay, so the lamina propria is connective tissue, uh, blood vessels to supply that um, epithelium. So let's have a little look in more detail at the epithelium. Uh, and again, as we've seen before, lots and lots of cell layers on top of each other. And then it looks really quite messy at the top here. It's quite indistinct. And this is uh, true of the relaxed bladder. Uh, it always looks a bit fuzzy. If you remember, we had a quite a fuzzy surface in the villi of the small intestine as well, because there were microvilli on the surface when you looked ultrastructurally. But here, if we were to look ultrastructurally, we would see that the, the surface membranes of these top lining cells uh, are very, very convoluted, um, and that's to enable them to flatten out when the bladder is distended. So this is the relaxed bladder. If the bladder was full, uh, these cells that are all quite long and almost diamond shape become much flatter, much more expanded, and so the number of layers of cells appears to, to um, reduce quite dramatically. It looks maybe as if it's three or four cells thick and then this fuzziness disappears at the top as these cells stretch out to accommodate the urine. These cells are really nothing more than uh, a means of um, containing urine. They don't do any absorption or uh, any sampling or anything. So in summary, uh, the bladder and the ureter are both lined by transitional epithelium which allows the expansion of them when they're full of urine. Um, they don't absorb or secrete anything. In the bladder, we then have a, a lamina propria and muscular lining, and the same thing in the ureter. So the ureter simply conveys the urine from the kidney to the bladder, where it is stored, 
uh, ready for excretion and the lining of both of these storage and transport tubes is lined with this transitional epithelium um, and um, a bunch of muscle uh, that allows it to uh, move the urine through the system. Thank you for listening to another podcast brought to you by School of Surgery. Remember you can follow us on Facebook at School of Surgery, on iTunes, on Podomatic at schoolofsurgery.podomatic.com and finally by searching School of Surgery on YouTube. Thank you very much and see you next time.